Normally, board piles are used on tall buildings of massive industrial complexes, which requires foundations which can bear the load of thousands of tons, most probably in unstable or difficult soil conditions. Board piling generates less noise and little vibration as compared with conventional driven piling methods. Before the start of installation of board pile, stake out and referencing of proposed pile location works is required. Firstly, the surveyor on duty will pin the point based on the approved drawings. The point is located using a theodolite. Kyoto lights are used to calculate the angles and horizontal distances to fix the pile center point. The pile center point and the reference stake were set. To make sure the position of board piles are same as per drawings. After ensuring the center of drilling bucket was perpendicular to the pile center point, pre-boring process began. Drilling bucket attached with the hydraulic drilling machine was used in the drilling process. Due to weak soils, the borehole was unstable. Therefore, a temporary casing is required. The temporary casing must be installed vertically either by gravity or vibro hammer. After that, the drilling below casing process began. The polymer-based bentonite is pumped into the borehole as temporary support. Sounding chain is used to check the depth of the borehole to ensure the boring is up to the required depth. After making sure the depth of the borehole the installation of rebar cage begins. Next, the installation of tremi pipe began. The tremi pipe is inserted to the ball hole by the lifting head. A hopper is then connected to the tremi pipe. For the preparation of pouring concrete, Slump test is required to measure the workability of fresh concrete. Before pouring the concrete into the borehole, after the test, the concrete is then poured into the borehole through the hopper and the tremie pipe. Make sure the tremie pipe is embedded into the concrete to prevent inflow of soil or water to the concrete. As concrete is poured to the borehole, the overflow slurry with bored soil or mud comes out and transferred to the sediment tank through channel where the sediments settle and the polymer-based bentonite can be reused. The tremi pipe is then removed as concrete rises upwards. For the removal of temporary casing, the casing has to be pulled out vertically. Hence, the installation of board pile is completed. Additional reinforced concrete lining is required to secure exposed soil and resist long-term groundwater pressure. As excavation proceeds, it is essential to seal the gap with mortar to enable the drainage of groundwater. Board piles avoid excessive ground excavation and help to control ground movements. 
This option is suitable where the retained soil is usually firm to stiff and where the groundwater table is below the level of maximum excavation. This is the most economic option and the fastest method to construct.